Welcome to Carmen's Bronco Shop. I hope everybody's doing well. So we've got an exciting episode for you. We're installing the fuel tank, uh, all the fuel lines for the EFI up to the motor and returning back to the fuel tank. Uh, we're gonna show you how to install the bung so that you can have your return line going through the side of the uh, fuel tank. Luckily, I've got a new tank, so it's just a matter of drilling the hole and, and getting things set up properly. Anyway, stick with us and we're gonna get at it right away. So there's the fuel tank. You can see I've just drilled a hole through here. It's roughly a half inch. Uh, it's, it was a half inch drill, but I had to ream it out a little bit to get the fitting through. So that's for the return line for the fuel injection. And you'll notice where it is, it's close to the, uh, to the where the sending unit opens up into the gas tank. Otherwise you wouldn't be able to get your fingers in to get a nut on the back of it. instruction manual it advised that you don't want to have the return fuel going anywhere as near the fuel that you're taking out your intake fuel otherwise it can cause aeration and your fuel supply will be screwed up so I basically I've got an elbow on my my fitting right here and so that's going to mean that all the all the gas that I'm putting back in the tank is going to be coming down this side and the fuel that I'm taking out of the tank is going to be straight down the center here so I'm going to be like at least a foot away from, from that so let's see how this goes oh. look at that beautiful so I've got the other Special washer designed to seal on the other side. Got this one here. And I've got obviously some uh, Teflon tape on there already. Turn that around. So we've got it where we need it. Let's point it right off in that direction over here. Oh. Ah, cool. All right, so we got to be careful though because the last thing we're going to do is break these. Just aluminum soap. I think that's beautiful, right there like that. Now obviously when you're done with this, you're gonna have to check it for leaks. And in which case there is a leak, then I can still get at it from below without a crank. It's gonna be still tough, but uh, that's good. So there you have it. So there you go, the fittings installed in the gas tank. I'm lucky, obviously that's a brand new gas tank. Uh, but if not, then of course you'd have to, uh, you know, you'd have to take it out and you'd have to drain the gas out of it. And some guys weld these bungs in place, in which case that'd be a different story again. But uh, with that set up there, I've got uh, my other fittings. I'll fasten them and uh, we'll progress.
Will somebody please tell that guy to stop scuffing his feet? That's driving me crazy. So you can see that? I know this might seem like overkill, but as you're probably catching on now, I'm really afraid of the rust up here. It just, it's, it's crazy. So what I'm doing right there is I'm putting some uh, pieces of rubber in between the tank and the metal brackets that it sits in so that it can't sit there and chafe and, and wear out prematurely. So, part of the system, of course, is the fuel pump. So, the fuel pump... The fuel pump is supposed to push. It's designed to push and not pull. So, they want you to have the pump as close to the tank as you can get it and down as close to the bottom of the tank on that level as possible. So, if we were to fasten the pump to the side of the frame rails, by the time we got it to uh, the level where it would be low enough to you know, be level with the bottom of the tank, it'd be up somewhere where I'm sitting, which is like five, six feet away from the tank, and that's no good either because they want you at least two feet, within two feet of the tank. So I've made this bracket here, and we're going to fasten that to the, the frame, and then we're going to fasten, the, uh, fasten the, uh, the pump to this. I forgot what I was working on there for a second. Alright, take three. So I'll just, uh, we got the clamp in place here. We'll just weld this bracket in place and then we'll have a nice spot to fasten our, uh, our pump to. That looks great. Okay, so the bracket's all, uh, well, I don't know if you guys can see that. See that? It's so cold in here, I just opened the doors up so that I could, so I could weld without uh, breathing all that stuff. And, wow! Anyway, bracket's all welded in place. Let's have a peek at it so you can see what's going on there. I gotta clean it up a little bit. I'll grind those uh, sides down, make it look really slick, give it a paint job, and then we're going to fasten the, uh, the pump to that. Uh, I've just about got uh, things plumbed in here. First, the fuel goes for the fuel injection system. The pump is right here, and it's, uh, like I said, I made that bracket earlier, and fastened that on, welded it in place, painted it black, looks good. And now I've got one more filter. There's two filters, one here and one right here. I left the hose a little long so that uh, 
I can adjust it if need be. So anyway, that's where we're at right now. I just got to fashion, uh, we're fastening this one in to probably the bottom of the frame right here. All right, guys. So that's basically it for the uh, the fuel injection plug. It's uh, it's all done there. It's nice, neat. It's tied in all along the side of the frame and then back up this side of the frame. And I actually have a tie strap right here holding on to the uh, transmission dipstick. That, that should be okay. I can't see any reason why that can't stay. Keeps everything up out of the way. Uh, might have to put a piece of rubber right there between that filter and the frame. But I just I don't want to do that yet because that looks kind of hokey. But anyway, this is where we're at. And next step is to uh, install some brake lines. Here we go. Well, I hope you like that. I, I, I keep going over that one. I, I think that's a really good uh, techno episode. For anybody that wants to install EFI on their vehicle, that shows them basically everything from the start to the finish. Uh, welding that bracket on so that you can have the fuel pump exactly where it needs to be. Uh, drill a hole through the tank. Nobody likes to do stuff like that, but as you can see, that's not that big a deal if you kind of take your time with it. Uh, next episode is going to be really exciting. I know I always say that, but it is. So what we're doing in the next episode is installing the new headers, uh, installing the new uh, drive shaft in the back, installing the new rear end uh, in the rear, and putting the body back on. So all these things are happening in the next episode. So like I said always, uh, if you like what you're seeing, hit the subscribe button. Uh, it means a lot. It, it gives us some idea of uh, what kind of interest we're having and, uh, and who's watching. Anyway, thanks again and have a fantastic day.